2020 to 2030 could be one of the most critical decades in the history of humanity. The decisions we collectively make over the coming years will define the future of our species, and if we want to preserve life on Earth, the time to act is now. Something big is happening right now here on planet Earth, and maybe you know that. Maybe deep down you feel that humanity is reaching some sort of a turning point or some sort of culmination in our collective evolution as a species. Thousands of years ago, our ancestors foretold of this time. Both the ancient Mayans and the ancient Egyptians spoke of this age of great changes, of great shifts that would lead to a new age for humanity. And it's no secret that great changes are indeed underway. All over the world we see social and political upheaval. Meanwhile, we face an ecological crisis that many of the world's leaders seem unwilling to address. And despite having more material abundance than ever before, we're in a state of spiritual starvation. We've lost our connection to nature, to Mother Earth, to each other. We've forgotten our oneness. But in the face of crisis, there is always great opportunity for something new and beautiful to emerge. And that's the silver lining to all this, that in a way, these challenges are exactly what we need to push us and drive us to awaken, to evolve as a human family. Einstein once said, no problem can be solved from the same state of consciousness from which it was created. Right now we need more than just clever politics. We need more than just external changes in the outer world. We need an inner transformation in the human collective. And that begins within each one of us. A shift in consciousness is the only thing that's going to save our species from total self-destruction. And that's the sad reality of the situation. So in this video, I'm going to present a vision of 10 predictions for where this awakening is taking us so that we can consciously engage with this collective evolution and turn our challenges into opportunities to create something incredible. The first prediction is that over time, we're going to see a spiritual revolution in the United States and all over the world as more and more people go through this process of awakening in their own unique ways. And in a sense, that's obvious because there's no collective evolution without individuals like you and I going through our own process. But think about how incredible it's going to be when more and more people in your life, people you may have never expected, begin opening up and engaging with life in a deeper way. And you and I as well are going to continue to go further on our own path of spiritual evolution. And it's really hard to predict how profoundly this is going to impact our human collective. I think this is going to really be energized and even led by the younger generation. We've already seen signs of that. And I also think that more and more we're going to see the blossoming of spiritual communities all over the globe. The second prediction is the birth of planetary citizenship. And what I mean by that is more and more people are recognizing that we are all one. Oneness is the truth, and that is such a key part of this great awakening, is that as we open our collective minds to a bigger picture understanding of our place in the cosmos, it becomes more and more abundantly obvious that we are all one. Yes, on the surface we are separate and different, but on a deeper level, we are all unified. We are all expressions of the same underlying reality. And this is a longer term vision, but I think that over the, de the coming decades and centuries, we're going to see the progressive crumbling of nation states, of this kind of ideology that I have to build a wall to divide me versus you. This is mine and that's yours. We drew the damn lines on the map. <laughs> if you zoom out and look at Earth from space, that is oneness visualized right there. We are all citizens of planet Earth. We are all one human family. The third prediction is that psychedelics and plant medicines are going to play a major and central role in this great awakening. 
For thousands of years, our ancestors have used psychedelics or entheogens as sacred tools for healing and awakening. And to this day, psychedelics are among the most powerful tools that we have for opening our minds and opening our hearts. And I believe that psychedelics are going to revolutionize the field of mental health. This is going to help us address the epidemic of depression, loneliness, anxiety, trauma, and help us discover more purpose and meaning in today's modern world. And beyond that, psychedelics are going to help us collectively reconnect with spirit, with the sacredness of life, with the knowledge that we are infinite divine beings in a temporary human lifetime. We are multidimensional infinite beings in a multidimensional existence, and each one of us is a living, breathing miracle, and that is a fact. The scientific study of psychedelics is just getting started. We're just beginning to scratch the surface. And as that progresses, that's going to lead to a number of major breakthroughs in many different ways. But namely, I believe that this is going to lead to new discoveries about the nature of consciousness that's going to blur the lines between science and spirituality. And that leads me to the fourth prediction, which is that we're going to see a progressive merging of science and spirituality. And again, this is long-term vision over the coming decades and even centuries, but inevitably we are going to transcend this scientific materialism, this strictly material view of the universe. We're opening up to the understanding that as vast and infinite as this physical universe is, it is only the tiniest tip of the iceberg that is the mystery of life. There is so much more to this mystery of life than what meets the eye. We can already see this merger of science and spirituality underway through quantum physics. The new discoveries in quantum physics are revealing that consciousness is non-local meaning that consciousness exists outside of space and time. The very essence of our being is transcendent. It is infinite. And this is another key scientific breakthrough that is coming our way. The revelation that consciousness is not produced by the brain. There is so much more to the mystery of consciousness than we currently understand. Who knows where all these discoveries are going to take us, but as Tesla once said, the day science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. The fifth prediction is that new revelations about the UFO phenomenon will change life on Earth forever. As I've discussed in a number of previous videos, it is a scientific fact that there are unidentified objects operating in and around Earth's atmosphere. We are so far beyond debating whether or not these objects are real. They've been tracked by the most sophisticated technology on the planet. And yes, we don't know what they are. And no, I'm not saying that these are necessarily extraterrestrial beings from another planet. In some cases, I think it could be even stranger than that. What I am saying is that by studying this phenomenon, we can get new insights into the secrets of the universe, as well as new insights into our potential as human beings. At some point, something is going to happen where we're no longer going to be able to overlook this UFO phenomenon in our skies, and we're going to have to come together and recognize this truth that we are not alone in the universe. And when that day comes, that will change life on Earth forever. That will be a revolution for our science, technology, politically, socially, economically, culturally, spiritually, religiously, and on and on this will be a paradigm shift for humanity. The sixth prediction is that we're going to make new discoveries about ancient human history that's going to grant a totally new perspective on the story of humanity and the true origins of our species. This is another topic that I've discussed in depth in a previous video, but all over the world, at some of the most famous archeological sites in Egypt, South America, China, India, Japan, the Middle East, Ethiopia, all over the world, there is an abundance of evidence that we are missing major chapters from our understanding of the human story. 
including the possibility that highly advanced civilizations existed at some point in the ancient history of Earth who we now have no record of. We have no knowledge of these lost civilizations. And again, who knows what we stand to learn from studying these ancient mysteries, but I believe that this again can give us new insights as to our potential as human beings here on planet Earth. The seventh prediction is that we are going to see massive economic upheaval and economic revolution over the coming years. And here I am attempting to discuss a very complicated topic for which I am not whatsoever qualified to speak on, but it is very clear that these economic factors and economic changes will play a very, very central role in this great awakening of humanity. And I believe that there is going to be a changing relationship to money and work or employment for a number of reasons. Part of what's going on is, of course, this rise of mass automation, the increasing uh, technology and artificial intelligence will lead to mass automation that displaces millions of jobs while at the same time creating new jobs and creating more economic abundance. So there's pros and cons and who knows which way this is going to go. I am concerned that power and resources and wealth are becoming increasingly consolidated in the hands of fewer and fewer individuals. But regardless, there is going to be this changing relationship to money and work. This, this idea that money is at the very center of our existence is so antiquated and obsolete. Like if we zoom out to a, a bigger picture, this is such a short sighted way to a, approach this mystery miracle of life on earth. This nine to five hamster wheel grind working just to survive and get by. I believe that this is going to fade away in the decades ahead. The eighth prediction is that along with this economic upheaval, we're going to see continued political destabilization and massive social unrest. And this is going to bring with it incredible challenges. I do think that in some ways, this the collective situation is going to continue to get worse before it gets better. But I also think that this is a natural part of this evolution. It's like the birthing pangs of a new era. It's like how the phoenix rises from the ashes as cheesy as that may sound, in some ways, the old structures have to die off, have to crumble and dissolve to make way for something new to emerge. The ninth prediction is that as part of this awakening, we're going to see the re-emergence of the divine feminine. And what I mean by that is that the human collective has, for whatever reason, way over gravitated towards the masculine side with all these patriarchal societies, all of our politics and corporate uh, structures being predominated by men, by male figures making the decisions. I think that's a lot of the, that's a big reason why we are in the mess that we are in today is that we've lost this balance between the masculine and feminine energies and qualities as individuals and as a collective. So I think we're going to see a rebalancing of the masculine and feminine with more women coming into positions of power, but also within each one of us, a, re, a rebalancing of the, the masculine and feminine qualities. The 10th prediction for this great awakening is that we are going to be pushing the boundaries of human potential in new and incredible ways. As I discussed earlier, over the coming decades, more and more we're going to realize that there is so much more to this mystery of life beyond a physical universe. We are multidimensional beings in a multidimensional existence, and when we really open our minds to that truth, that is going to open up radically new and amazing possibilities for human potential. Again, this goes back to the Tesla quote that the day that science begins to study non-physical phenomena, it will make more progress in one decade than in all the previous centuries of its existence. Over the coming decades, I believe that there is going to be a renaissance of research into different fields that again are pushing the boundaries of human potential, such as 
near-death experiences, remote viewing, extrasensory perception, out-of-body experiences, the afterlife, shamanism, mysticism, and much, much more. So there it is, 10 predictions for the great awakening of humanity. It really is such an honor and a blessing to be able to share in this momentous time of life on earth here together with you. And I do believe that over the long term, we can find a way to come together in peace and love and usher in a new age of prosperity for humanity here on earth. And that begins within each one of us.